Stan here from Crozier Gaming Clips. Just doing a short video having a look at Battlezone. So I recently did a video for my top 30 Commodore 64 games. Uh, this one didn't actually make it, but it recently popped up on Antstream Arcade. And I did have it previously on Game Room as well, as well as having the original on the Commodore. So just decided to give it another go. So this is actually a 1983 game from Atari Soft. And although I wasn't a huge fan of it back when I played it originally, back in the 80s, looking at it now, it's actually quite a pioneering game. I mean, there's a few 3D games that you could get on the Commodore. I mean, games like Star Wars comes to mind, quite similar to this graphically, where they've used the black background and really just lines obviously not so much memory back then but there's a 3d maze game as well that i can't quite remember the name of that i think it may have just been called maze um but yeah i used to enjoy that as well but often when it comes to fps first person shooters normally the first sort of games that you think about as being the the pioneers of that genre are you know, things like wolfenstein you know doom those sort of games and yeah, of course they came out much, much later. So for 1983, this is actually pretty impressive. It's almost like a really early game in development where they haven't filled in out any of the backgrounds yet. But yeah, you can move forward, sideways, and uh, left and right. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good attempt. Just gonna give that another go. It's the first time I played it in a while. I don't think that was the greatest score. Let's see if I can get any better. So I said I was playing it on Game Room about 10 years ago or so. Uh, trying to get the gold medals on that game. And yeah, Antstream Arcade is actually a really good source for retro games. I appreciate that a lot of people will probably use emulators and things like that if they haven't got the original hardware. But I do a lot of the clips from my um, Xbox Series X and yeah there's not a bad selection on there oh got caught okay let's see yeah you got a little targeting system that sort of narrows when you get a tank in range and it's not a game with great depth but yeah, I'm trying to think if there was an earlier um, first-person shooter. Can't think of one. But yeah, I think this game is deserving of a bit of a pioneer in history. Even though it is still pretty basic and there are probably more fun games around at the time. Yeah, speaking of Star Wars, I'm currently preparing a clip trying to have a look at a lot of the Star Wars, Star Wars games in my collection, so have a look out for that video, it will be coming fairly shortly. But let me know if you've got good memories of this game. <laughs> 